What's up everybody, Jared here for the Smoking Android and we have two brand new apps for you guys today, Facial Recognition Unlock apps. And But I can't take all the credit, um, I do have to pass some of that along to my buddies over at How To Men. So if you want to check out some uh, really neat apps that um, they take a, that they review um, all the time, uh, head on over to their channel, I'll have a link in the description below as well as take a look on my channel for um, my other recommended channels if you want. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in and take a look. Okay, so as you guys have seen in some of the um, Samsung Galaxy Nexus um, commercials, the guy, the little kid, holds the uh, phone up to his face trying to unlock it, uh, trying to look like his, like his dad, um, and uh, is unsuccessful, so his dad has to open it up for him by uh, holding it up to his face. Um, kind of what we're doing here. Um, the first one we're going to take a look at, uh, Face Lock for Apps Pro. And um, basically what it was designed for is for you to select any applications you want and then be able to lock them um, or not be able to unlock them or use them without unlocking them with your face. Now the cool thing about this particular app and the next one I'll be showing you is that they do have, um, you can actually use the, uh, this application for your phone lock screen. So um, what that means is if you don't have it enabled, then you can get in, you know, turn, uh, sorry, unlock the screen and, and get into your phone without any issues. But if you have it enabled, you'll have to um, use, and of course you need a front facing camera for this, um, you can go ahead and uh, unlock the device with your face. So just to demonstrate how that works, I'll go ahead and enable this one here. And as you can see, uh, oh, you guys, I guess you guys didn't really see that, did you? I'll go ahead and um, get back in there again. And it's looking for me. And if it doesn't, <laughs> then it, uh, it asks for um, a password. I'll just go ahead and type that in there. And I might not be able to get it to work too well with me here because... Come on, are you going to get me? No. Ah, shoot. And then, of course, it asks you to type in a password. So I don't think it's going to allow me to um, demonstrate the facial unlock features or the, sort of the, uh, the uh, lock screen. Let's, let's try this here. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Okay, didn't take long enough. Let's, uh, I've, I've, I think I put it. There we go. And there it is. And it actually works pretty quickly. Um, in low lighting situations, you will notice some issues with it. Um, as I've tested out in low lighting situations, but um, you can actually, I'll go ahead and unlock this real quickly for you guys. Um, you can actually uh, set the uh, security level. So uh, basically this makes it harder. So it, it, uh, it has to really be you because some people have been able to take pictures and hold it up to the phone and uh, it unlocks the device. Um, you know, even I've been able to get my wife to unlock the phone. So if I had it set, for instance, that easy or or uh, something like that, um, people can get in. So that's pretty neat, that's that particular application and of course you can select, oh and training face, uh, face recognition so you'd end up um, hitting that button and uh, take a bunch of pictures of yourself in different lighting situations and that kind of further helps uh, the, the, the application decipher who, who it is and, and how quickly it will unlock the phone for you. So and of course you've got uh, locked applications so we can head into there and uh, check any of these and um, basically be able to uh, unlock any of these with um, with your face. So that was a pretty neat one. Uh, the next one that we'll look at, actually I'll get back in here so I can turn it off. And unlock, oh it's nice and quick. Whoops, it's not letting me get me out. Uh oh. See it does this on me after a while. For some reason, I don't know why, it starts to just, um, and this is the pro version believe it or not. So I don't know why it does that. So we'll go ahead and try and use this one now. So as I, you can see, uh, it's Visit in App Lock, which can be found in the Android market. Both apps come free, but you can purchase a paid version, which um, actually enables the uh, lock screen, the facial lock screen. If you have just the free version, they don't allow you to do it. Now, as you can see in this particular application, the lock screen is a beta. Now, the reason behind this is because, and, and, it, and it, sometimes it's hit or miss if it's going to work. It might work 15 to 20 times in a row. It was actually quite successful, and, um, and uh, it worked 
the majority of the time for me, but then there are the odd times when it doesn't work and it goes straight into um, either your original slide to lock lock screen or um, you'll have to type in the password. So now the reason behind that and the reason why they're calling it beta is because natively Android doesn't support third party lock screens. So if this was to, if, if we wanted this to work flawlessly, I would imagine that someone would actually have to hard bake it into their ROM, just like Samsung's done with their, uh, um, their ice cream sandwich version on the Galaxy Nexus. So, uh, like I said, it does work the majority of the time, but you will find times when it, um, it doesn't work. Uh, also, if you do have any lock screens enabled on your phone, I do recommend you go into the settings and turn them off before you even trying to play with this, uh, and uh, at least a lock screen feature, because it just won't work. So I had to go in, I'm running Cyanogen Mod on this, and I had to go in and turn off all the lock screen settings, and I had to play with it back and forth, uninstall it, and reinstall it, and then finally it started working flawlessly for me. But um, that's just a bit of a tip for you guys. Now, just like the last application that we just tested out, um, this is basically the same thing. Enable locking service. Um, you're going to want to enable it on boot so that every time you boot your phone up, this, uh, uh, this application is running. As you can see, the little icon in the notification bar up there. Um, enable external control. We're not going to get into that. Um, you can set alternative unlock methods just in case it doesn't work. In fact, you actually have to. The app forces you to set an alternative unlock method. Um, just in case it doesn't recognize your face, well, you, you want to be able to get back into your phone. So um, you're going to need to do that. Enable hepatic, hepatic feedback. I don't need that. Visible pattern. Uh, face training. Just like the last app, you're going to have to do face training. They recommend, I think it was six or seven. Can you guys hear that? That is really loud outside my window. Okay, um, <laughs> um, so I recommend about taking 14 pictures of yourself in different lighting situations, even if they're just very um, minor differences in lighting, just do it anyways, it's going to come in handy down the road. The more uh, pictures you take in face training, the, the better and more accurate the um, app will be for you. Liveness detection. Um, this is basically, I have it set to off um, because I just wanted to test it out. Uh, what that means is, it looks for certain um, sort of key giveaways that you're actually a real person and not a photograph, like I mentioned in the app before. So if I was to set it to high, it looks for things like, you know, your eyes blinking, just overall movement, actual movement and background movement of what the environment, what's going on around you. So I have it set to off, so I could probably go ahead and take a picture of myself and hold it up to the camera, and it'll um, and it'll go ahead and unlock for me. So uh, if you do, and so I mean, if you want higher security, that's, uh, definitely one option you can set it to um, set security level mine set to medium um, orientation displacement so the camera view you know if you have it on that side or that angle sort of a thing um, lock delay well I'm sure you understand what that means admin rights um, I'm not really too sure I guess this you would select that type in a password or you would need a password in order to delete this particular application off the phone if someone did ha somehow manage to get past the original lock screen to begin with um, they can't delete this and be able to start accessing your apps and of course we've got the lock screen so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like so it's a little bit different as you can see you can see me Hi. Okay, and so to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like here, we'll go ahead and shut this off and see how quickly it can pick me up here. There, it see it even picked me up out of, you know, hiding behind my camera. So we'll go ahead and try that again and uh, see if it gives us any issues like sometimes it does. You see me? Eee! Hi! <laughs> All right. I haven't shaved in a couple of days, so uh, yeah, don't don't judge me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, that is oh, and of course, uh, got a nice big tab here um, for you to select all of your applications to uh, go ahead and lock up, so that would work the exact same way. Um, but anyways, guys, that, that's it. Some, some pretty cool apps. If uh, you do have a front-facing camera and you want facial unlock recognition um, or facial recognition unlock, yeah, either or either, I suppose. Uh, then go ahead and download these from the market. This one is called Face 
face lock. Uh, let's take a look. Face lock unlock. Face lock pro. Oh boy, see how it, it just crashes on me. Personally, I recommend visiting app lock. Uh, you can find that in the Android market for free, and I will have some links posted in the description below. Um, go ahead, try these out. Let me know if uh, they work for you, what phones they work for. And until next time, everybody, the smoking Android. Oh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this because we make cool videos all the time, believe it or not. <laughs> all right, guys, the smoking Android signing out.